Hi, hello. So, as you probably know, in 2.2, the Swing Copter game mode was added. I personally think it's a really cool game mode, I really like how it controls, and along with the game mode itself being released, loads of different icons were released that you can unlock. I initially went with this one, which is Wheatley from oh, Portal 2, which I like, I think it's cool, but there is another Portal-inspired Swing Copter here, and that is this one. Swing 16, it looks like GLaDOS, it's just really cool, I want to use it. But unfortunately, up until this point, you haven't been able to unlock it. See, in order to unlock this icon, you need to complete the Portal Gauntlet. The Gauntlets are a selection of five levels, handpicked by Rob Top himself. They're not like most features in the game, where they get released as the update comes out, they tend to slowly roll out over a longer period of time, meaning we haven't had the Portal Gauntlet until now. Yesterday, Rob Top released the Portal Gauntlet, and today, I'm going to be beating it because I want that juicy, juicy GLaDOS icon. Alright, well here it is, the Portal Gauntlet. I have not seen any of these levels yet, and um, yeah, I guess it's time to just get into it. The first one here is a four star, so I'm guessing guessing it's not going to be too difficult. Okay, this looks pretty nice. It's a knots level, so of course it's always going to look good. <laughs> Stand by. Listen. 0, 0, 0, 0, 39. Oh my. This is super nice, dude. Oh. Knots levels, they just have such a unique feel and such a unique vibe to them. Oh, dude, that background. It's like a little bit of depth to it. It's kind of like isometric, I guess. Very straightforward gameplay. I don't know whether I'd call it boring. I mean, it is like a four star, right? Oh, that kills you. What? That was only 42% into the level. Oh my god. Okay, well, I think we might be here for a while then. <laughs> well, that would make sense why the gameplay is so easy then. All right. I, I did think it was like, even though it is four star, I felt like this gameplay was like probably closer to three or two star, to be honest. And this ship part is super straightforward as well. What? Well, you go upwards to get a coin. So maybe I like, I collected a key earlier on. Maybe that changed something with the level. All right. I'm going to try going upwards next time. <gasps> what? That's so hard! Okay, so you go up here, you turn into mini. Oh my god. Dude, that is so hard. I didn't see how hard that was. Jesus, Zeronium's gonna like this. Actually, Zeronium's chip pro, it's fine. No, I'm not getting that coin. No way, bro. No way. Okay, go down there. All right, cool. We've made it past where we were before. Keep holding. Do I need to still hold? I don't know, but I'm still holding. These are some smooth animations. Holy. And I'm guessing this was done in 2.1 as well, not like 2.2. Oh, okay, we're here. Whoa! Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, it's hard to know what's solid and what isn't, dude. Oh, man. Oh, it's like, it's a cool level. Like, I do really like this level. I just think it's like a byproduct of having a really long, really easy level. You're kind of sitting through this boring stuff and then you die to something like that. And it's like, man, it just doesn't feel fair, right? And it's really annoying because you got to sit through like a minute and a half of this every time you want to get there, you know? So I don't think it's a bad level necessarily. Like, I do like the level. It's just a problem with the medium. I shouldn't need to practice a level like this, but I'm going to. I'm going to practice this. I like these little triangle particles around the torch. That's really cool. Oh, dude, the lyrics popping up. That's sick. Visually, this level's awesome. This level's so, so, so good visually. I really love it. Oh, the platform swinging. That's super cool. I really like that. Oh, we got some orbs. All right. Oh, my God. Actual orbs in this level? No way. There we go. Azimuth. All right, cool. Well, that's the only pr part I had trouble with was the, like, part I've been having trouble with. So, hopefully, we can beat this now. All right, nice. Well, that is... Oh, Herbal Harbinger. Oh, actually, I hope there's no demons in this because I can't beat any demons. I'm still just before 500. I haven't beaten my 500th yet. Okay, well, all right, this is another four star. I think we'll be right. Shards of Siberia by Zender Game. This one's only long, it seems like. It's not an XL. Oh my God, it uses this song again. I swear there's another gauntlet level that uses this song. I don't know. Oh, this is cool though. I like this. This is a Zender Game level. So this is made by the same person who made White Space. Ooh, those characters were nice. Whoa. Oh, that was not- oh, that wasn't so nice. <laughs> that first pad was really nice of, of Zender Game, but no, not the second bit. All right, that's okay. Oh, some books, a lamp, a phone. Oh, this is cool. This feels very Zender Game, not gonna lie. Like, this is obviously not the same as White Space and not even close. Like, it's very different. Oh, I like that part, dude. But yeah, like I, I was saying, it's not, like, exactly the same as White Space, obviously. It's very different. But I can see, like, similar sort of themes in it, right? With, um, using real-life objects in the level, kind of fitting in with the rest of the deck which I think is really, really cool. And this is like a very line art feeling level, of course, but it also has other stuff as... Oh, breaking that barrier of disbelief. 
True. Dude, there's so much going on in this level. I can't get a single sentence out. That's cool. I really like that level though. I'm a big fan of that one. Only two attempts. That's more like it. I've been recording for 24 minutes and I've beaten two four stars. Okay. Next one. I like how it doesn't reveal what it is yet. Da -da -da -da. Between Worlds by Loco. All right. And it's a five star this time. Oh my God. An XXL. All right, cool. Ooh, a nice forest. I don't like how it starts me upside down. Oh, this is really nice. I love the subtle movement of the leaves. That's really, really cool. Ooh. And you can't see the particles of the icon, so it actually does look like the icon stopped, which is really, really nice. I don't know how they managed to do that, but that's cool. Oh, wow. It's like all breaking away and stuff. And it looks like those sections kind of slope you up a little bit, I guess. I like the cogs turning in the background as well. That's awesome. Ooh, the little floating city in the background. A little... Oh, it's like corruption... Cr oh... What? Oh, there's a slope there? I didn't know there was a slope there. I love how those like... I love how those match the music. It's so cool. Oh, okay. I thought I was dead there for a sec. Not gonna lie. Oh, those little roots like expanding out. Oh my God. That's such a cool effect. <gasps> that is a beautiful birch tree. Is that a birch tree? I'm assuming that's a birch tree. I don't know. That's a super nice tree though. This level's awesome. It's really, really stylized. This is like, I don't want to say it's one of the best levels I've ever seen because I've seen a lot of levels, but this is super, super nice. Like that tree, probably like the best tree I've ever seen in GD. That's such a nice tree, dude. And that transition effect is, whoa, what? I have no idea how that that effect was achieved at all like whatsoever and is that the end of the level i think that's the end of the level right yeah there we go oh my god that was really cool actually i really liked this that is super nice all right three out of five done time to move on to the fourth ah this one i've heard this level got a lot of hate and I've, i think i've actually seen this level like quite a while ago spend a couple minutes in the mind of a creator who hates who he has become yeah there's a lot of meaning behind this level as well i'm going to show you the inside of my mind here it is it's kind of empty, not gonna lie. Yeah, that was a bit mean. This is really cool, actually. This is a really interesting concept. So there's just like a bunch of like small gameplay or not gameplay, but like small deco bits from like unfinished projects. That would be really cool to do with some of my levels as well, actually. Not enough time, not enough effort, not enough talent. I've been blessed with it. Oh, what? I didn't know they killed you. Out of all the levels to get a lot of hate, this one? I don't really understand that right now because this is really, really cool. Like I'm really having a good time looking around this. I know it's like a very emotional level or whatever. I understand that, but it is just cool to look at all of these like little snippets of deco, you know? I don't know. I like it. Okay, jump over that this time. Blessed with knowledge, being cursed with knowledge. Okay, a bit of a choose your own adventure with this, which is kind of cool. Do we get lost in a sea of better ones? No! I think I might need some practice mode for this. I'm not gonna lie, dude. And as per usual with these easy XL levels, in order to get to where I died, I'm gonna speed hack. <laughs> is Australia real? What do you mean, is Australia real? Okay, bro. Oh, this level is like really cool. What does that say? More than, okay, sure. That, is that a, that's a tip? What is that a tip for, Mr. TMN? I'm going to show you the inside of my mind. I thought you already did that. I'm inside your mind. Get out of there. My mind's not that big. You can't. <laughs> insane. I'm going insane. Let me inspire you. Be happy. Yay. Let me heal you. Yay. Mmm, yeah, okay. Oh my god, no shot, dude. Okay, there we go. Boom. That is the level complete. Oh, that took a little while, but that's all right. I liked that. I think that was a good level. Definitely a very personal thing that I really respect TMN for like sharing with the world, you know? But anyway, with that being said, I need to collect my quest. Woohoo! The last level, oh, it's already been shown. Suzuretete? I definitely did not pronounce that correctly, but this is a six star this time. Oh my god, wait, we're going up in difficulty, guys. This looks really cool. That background is really nice, dude. Like, look at that. Oh, oh that background's really nice as well. Damn, dude. Modern levels are insane to me, because I don't know how this kind of stuff is achieved. I'm not gonna lie. I think I need to hold a little bit longer. Whoops. All right. The like subtle roundedness of some of the structures here as well are really, really, whoops, really, really nice. And they contrast really well with like the solid lines of like, you know, the slopey bits. I don't know. I really like it when people do unique structuring in easier levels. Like you can do a lot more with the structuring in easier levels, but also you don't need to, which makes it kind of harder in a way. I don't know. You got to like really think about how you want to structure it instead of like with, I guess, like insane demons and stuff, which I normally build. You just like kind of have to add more structures in. Anyway, we're getting a new best here. Let's go. 
Ooh, that's a night. Dude, these backgrounds are so good. That effect there. Oh, the slopes as well. The movements. Dude. Uh-oh. Time gauntlet part two. Uh-oh. I don't know if I had to jump over that or not. Hey, there's Japanese. What does that say? Uh, vre te, uh, Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> I, I think that's like two or something. I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway, that is the last level of the portal gauntlet complete. And now we can collect our reward. Boom. There it is. Also a demon key. That's quite cool. But we have the GLaDOS swing copter. All right, let's equip that and let's give that a look, shall we? I just look up swing challenge here and search them. Are there any like, are they all new ones or are there any old ones? Oh, okay. This is a new one. This is a decorated one. All right, let's wait for the song then. Ooh, okay, this is cool. Yeah, I really like how this swing copter plays, actually. This feels really nice to use. Of course, I still need to, like, get used to the swing copter a little bit. But I feel like I'm not too terrible with the swing copter. I don't know, a lot of people don't love the 2.2 swing. I think it's really, really nice. I really like how it feels. No, no, you meant to go down. Okay, going, getting far. Whoa. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna die to that sword, dude. Oh my god. Eva like, I will gladly Eva like. That was pretty cool. Oh, this, this song's called Kane Swing. I'm like, this isn't the swing game mode. I kind of still want to beat this, so let's beat it. Just do it. Oh my. All right, got it. <laughs> oh my god, this one's by Green. No way. I think I have this account friended, actually. <laughs> the actual Green account. Yeah, I do. <laughs> That's so funny. I know they're not actually Green, but I find it really funny that, like, there's just a GD account called Green that's just completely unrelated. Hello. Wow. Boom. Cool. Yeah, you know what? I feel like making a quick swing challenge. Let's make a quick one here. I'm using this song. <laughs> All right, cool. I got some very basic gameplay here. There's not much to it, but it's here. Now time to decorate this in my usual 1.0 style, of course. Let me just delete these start positions, place one of these portals underneath the level. ka -chow. edit group preview, just like that. And uh, I guess just start decorating this. I don't know. I'm not going to be doing anything too crazy. You know how I roll with challenges, just something simple. And this is going to be very simple because this is only a short part of the video. This isn't the entire video. And I can actually do this now because normally, like you can see, the hitbox kind of extends out out from there. What you can do now is you can go to extra and you can do passable. Never mind, not passable. I think it's no touch. Yeah, and then that gets rid of the hitbox for it. So now I can do this without it being like terrible for gameplay. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to make the background like, I don't know, just a, a pinkish color. Ground, copy the color of the background, but darker. Actually, I'll go a little bit more purple for like this beginning. And then I'll go a little bit brighter from here on where it, like the song picks up a bit more, I guess. And then I won't do anything too insane with pulses. Just like make it go to kind of an orangey color. Oh, and then one last thing, select all of this, go to extra and click no glow because we don't want any glow. All right, let's verify this. 46. All right. This isn't too bad. I did get a little bit of practice on it when I was making it, but I certainly didn't make this easy on myself. Oh, no. No, 62, dude. I, I completely like, I got nervous. <laughs> oh, no. Why did I think I went into cube there, dude? I made this. I know I don't go into cube. No! The last gap, dude! No! No! No, I died to it again, dude! Come on! Yes! Okay, I did it. Nice. Oh, that end gap, dude. That end gap. All right, cool. Now, I'm going to call it just swing challenge because I already have a swing copter challenge. All right, let's upload this level then. <laughs> Boom. All right, well, if you want to play that challenge, there's the ID. I don't know. I just wanted to, like, use a swing copter in some hard gameplay. Yeah, anyway, that's going to be just about it for this video. Really hope you enjoyed. Kind of a different way of structuring and putting together a video, so I hope you liked it. I don't know. I hope the transition to, like, building a challenge and beating it wasn't too jarring. And yeah, I'm going to end this one off here. Huge thank you to all the members. Really appreciate it. Thank you, especially you've do. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Oh.